welcome to another fiddlehead fiddle lesson. We're gonna do the tune Koopa Tons. It's a klezmer tune, Eastern European tune. I'm gonna play the whole thing, then break it down for you note by note. All right, here we go. Okay, so, um, oh, I only did the third part once. All right, well, anyway, each part repeats twice. Um, but anyway, let's get started. And uh, I'm just gonna show you this scale called the A harmonic minor scale. So, oh, G1, two, three, open, one, low two, high three, A. And the next octave, open A, one, Low two, three, open, low one, high two, three. That'll help with this tune a lot. So I recommend you pause, practice that a little bit right now. So we're gonna start with D1 on, and just twice on D1. And that second one is the downbeat. Be like, or E and the one. All right, so. Um, so then we're gonna do twice D1, twice. I sort of recommend starting up bow too. One, one, and then going. Twice on A. And then we're gonna add twice on D high three. And then twice on A. It's all double notes on this A part. So that's A1. Okay. And keep going. Now we're gonna do twice more on A. Okay, now twice on A low two. Okay, let's keep going. Added twice on one. All right, now we're gonna add twice on three. So that's roughly the first quarter, but I'm just gonna keep going. Unlike a lot of these videos, I like to break it down into quarters, but this seems to make the most musical sense just to keep going. I'm gonna slowly do what I've done so far though. Now we're gonna add twice on A low two. It's kind of a pattern moving up that scale I showed you. Adding low two now, so here we go. All right, 
right, now we're gonna add twice on E. If it, you're, if it so far you're at all kind of lost, just rewind, because I'm just building, I'm adding two notes every time, the same two notes every time, all right? So um, I recommend just rewinding a little bit and catching up. Um, now I'm gonna add twice on open E, here we go. Okay, now I'm going to add twice on A3. Almost done with this run, now we're going to add twice on E low 2. I take that back, E low 1 I'm adding. Alright, here we go. Let's do that even slower, what I have so far. All right, now we're gonna do something a little different now. We're gonna end this um, first half with this phrase. That's twice on E and then A3, low two, three. So we have, and then ending on a long open E. Here's that again. All right, so now I'm gonna slowly play the entire first half of this tune. Here's the whole third quarter. As you can hear, it's kind of the same pattern of the first half, but it's going down now. And um, down in pitch, back down the scale. So let's break that down note by note. We're gonna start with twice on A3, and then add twice on E low one. Okay, and then we're gonna do twice on A1. Now we're gonna add twice on A3. Okay, and now we're gonna do something, something we're gonna do on um, A low two, twice, add it to that. Here's that again. Okay, and then we're gonna do twice on E, open E. All right, I added two more, I added it twi twice on open A. Here's what we have so far. twice on A low two there. All right, um, so again, here's the whole third quarter. You can do the pickup of A1. So, um, let's break down the fourth quarter. I'm gonna open E, D high three. That's kind of hard. If you're good with fourth finger, you can do fourth finger on A. 
and then we're going to add A13. That makes sense to me to use the fourth or pink, pinky, but whatever works for you. And we end with A low two. Let's say low two, one, one, open, open. All right, so this whole fourth quarter. I'll do it starting open E. Okay, good. I'm now going to play the entire A part very slowly. Alright, cool. Let's move on to the B part. I'm going to play the first quarter of the B part. Alright, so let's break that down. We're going to start A low 2, and then we're going to go this is one of the harder parts in the tune. We're going to go A low 2, D3, 4th on A, back to D3. That's how I play it anyway. Again, you could also use open E there if you're not comfortable with 4th finger. Right? Um, there's that again. Better view of the bow. But if, as it speeds up, it'll be a little easier to use the pinky or fourth finger on A. Alright, so this that little four note sequence is um, would be good to practice in a continuous loop slowly together. So let's do that right now. So if you get that little bit, that's the key to unlock this part. Whole first quarter of the uh, B part again sounds like there's a long A2 and then that riff we just did, A low 2. Alright, a little faster. So that's the whole first quarter of the B part. Now listen to the second quarter. So if you got the B part, I mean the first quarter down really well, then this part's gonna be a little easier because you have that riff, this thing, and that happens three times in a row in the second quarter. So it goes. Did it faster there. And then we're gonna do um, just a, a run down the scale, four notes starting E low one, open, A3, A low two. And that's the entire uh, second quarter. So here's that again. Now let's do the third quarter of the B part. Okay, so that's that part is um, it's a lot like the, that. That has a, a riff that's similar to the one we just learned, but it uses different fingers. We're gonna go A low one to D three to A three back to D three. This would be another good thing to practice in a loop. 
you could do that on your own. So the whole third quarter starts with the long A1. Then that riff, then it'll go back to a long A1. All right, and that's the whole thing. For the third quarter, I'll do it once more. And then the uh, fourth quarter of the B part. All right, so breaking that down a little bit, we're gonna start with E low two twice, and then E low one. Do that twice, then we're gonna go twice on opening. And then twice on A3. And then we're gonna do it close with A low two, three, open E, A low two. There's that again. So putting it together, the fourth quarter. All right, now let's just do the entire B part very slowly. Three, four. Good, good, good. Any part of that you're unsure of, just keep rewind and listen to it. Maybe pause, rewind, and practice the various parts of that that we've done so far. C part of this tune, and I'm gonna play the first chord for you very slowly. So it's going to start with an E to A low 2, and then A3 to 1. And it's kind of like a long, short, long, short, long, short, long. I'm going to, the next, so we have this so far. I'm going to add A low 2 to open A and then a long A1. So very slowly, here's the, the first quarter of the C part again. Okay, let's move on to the second quarter of the C part. Start open A to D high three, back to open A. Adding A low one. And then A low two, one, open low two. Let's put that together. Once more. And then we're going to end the second quarter by walking down, um, starting A1. One, open, high three on D, low two, one. Again, these are all just notes from that uh, A, a harmonic minor scale. Here's what I just did. Okay, let's slowly do the second quarter of the C part again. Let's move on and do the third quarter of the C part. All right, 
right, so it's a lot of notes, but again, if you know the scale, it's just a little pattern moving down the notes. So we're gonna start with E low one, open E, then A3. And then back up to E low one where you started. This little pattern will do moving successfully down the scale. It'll make more sense if we just do it, but here's that again. And then we're gonna do starting open E, open E, A3, A low two. Back to E. Here's that again. And now we're gonna start A3 and go three, low two, one, three. It's just again, one little pattern, da 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 da, then moving that whole pattern down the scale. So, so far in this third quarter we have finish it by doing A low two one open. So here's the whole third quarter of the C part again. Fourth quarter of the C part is the same as the fourth quarter of the A part. So, if anything is unclear, just pause, practice it. Otherwise, I'm going to play the entire C part slowly for you right now. That's it. Congratulations, you made it to the end of a very difficult tune. Uh, hopefully, just hang there if you ha don't quite have it all yet. And just, you know, if you get if it gets hard, just take a break and either practice that harmonic minor scale or you can just practice some bowing and then, you know, be easier on yourself. Come back to the tune and, uh, you know, eventually you'll have it. So. Take care, see you next time.